Well, definitely a lot to look forward to on your TV screens this week. But um, listen, uh, of course, this was a big weekend, not only in sport that we spoke about earlier, but in terms of our music industry as well, the Mamas took yes. place as well. And of course, it really just shone the spotlight on uh, the best in the music industry and also the best in local style, which was amazing to see. But I think one man who really pulls these two worlds together very well is Mr. Boss Zonka himself, <laughs> Ricky Rick. And uh, Tenji actually caught up with the man himself just to find out how he finds time to do everything and also how he just manages to find the inspiration between his music and his style. Hate it or love it, Ricky Rick is the king of Umswanko and his music has given us a reason to strut our stuff with confidence. But when he isn't in studio putting together the next hottest track for us to stomp to, he's out in some of Jorzy's hippest places, refining his style that gives us the opportunity to catch up with him. For those who don't know, Umswanko is the Isizula word for swag, which is a big part of modern hip-hop culture. But while Ricky Rick loves flaunting a chic fashion sense, his down-to-earth persona shines through his music. As you were sort of coming up, what was that one performance or verse or line that you spat and you were like, yo, guy, I can actually do this as a career? Well, to tell you the truth, I've always thought all of my verses have been, you know, okay. so, like groundbreaking, you know? Like when I was in my studio trying to like, not trying, well, when I started making my own beats and writing my own verses, I really believed that I was the best, you know? And I really believed like, I, that I had like a different message in my verses. But I think like, I never knew how to perform maybe until like two years ago. At that show, I realized how many people I can move with the performance if I'm feeling it. And that like changed the whole way that I see live performance and, and like, the type of people that I want to be in the crowd when I perform or what I need to do to a crowd when I perform it really woke me up to like what energy can do to thousands of people. You're also a producer. What are your musical foundations and what are some of the influences that come through and how much does your personal life influence what you do? I think it, for me it all starts with the drum machine. Like it was like all about a feeling so like for me it all started like with me doing something physically with my body you know that's like my the real foundation for it for me like i want to physically touch the music because i can't play piano i can't play you know guitar or anything like that even when it comes to like video production or whatever it is it's the same thing that i'm striving for i want to actually feel like what i'm doing i don't want to just get there and have it done and then it's over i want to actually feel the process of what's going on his Family Values album recently achieved platinum status and garnered a Best Hip Hop nomination at the Mamas. But the artist producer has also nurtured an entrepreneurial spirit. Merchandise is a huge part of the overall brand. What compelled you to merchandise and also so quickly in your career? Um, wow, I think um, the main thing was really trying to like uh, give people something they can keep, you know? And I think that's like the thing that's really missing. Like nobody's buying CDs anymore. And so nobody really has like some a physical piece of you, you know. And I think the rat, the the merchandise is really just to keep keep your fans, you know, excited about you, and 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 it's like you feel happy, you feel happy, you know. Cool. Well, let's quickly have a look at what's on the shelf. I just want to get your perspective of what's hot right now in terms okay. of sneakers that you're loving. Okay. Ricky's Instagram shows him flaunting some luxurious gear, but the Kwamashu-born artist often stays true to the comfort of hip-hop culture by delving into his love of sneakers. What do you love about this place so much? I mean, you know, for me, sneakers is more of like a lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like somebody needs to be able to get into a sneaker store and like find something that fits them yeah. exactly and fits exactly who they are mm -hmm. at that moment of time. And like, this is one of the spots that has everything, you know? I mean, you've got the old school sort of, if you're an old school type of guy who likes to keep it simple, there you go. You've got your classics over here, you've got Stan Smith's classics. And then you get into the more tech stuff for the people who like working out and gymming. And then you go further and it's just like completely different flavors, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think that's what a, a, a sneaker store should really do. It's just for like, it's like a representation of your mood. And for those that know there's tons of cats right now who are on the come up, do you have any words of inspiration, keep going for them in their careers? Well, for me, the main thing I always say, just be yourself. Don't let anybody take you out of your comfort zone. If you're not comfortable with something, let the people know. Do what makes you comfortable and like what makes you feel good at the end of the day. It's all about feeling good. Like, 
you don't want to have a million dollars in your pocket and you don't feel good about how it got there, you know what I mean? So, you know, money doesn't buy happiness. People just always remember that. So just do things that make you feel good. Don't, don't chase, like, somebody else's life or anything like that. With a booming 2016 nearly behind him and the coming year geared towards producing bold new music, there are endless reasons to keep an eye on King Cottini beyond the fresh threads.